Hello everyone, and welcome to the very, 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 very first episode of Airy Plays. I am your hostess, if you will. My name is Airy. Very excited for you to be joining me today. As I said, it's my very first episode. I've been wanting to make videos for quite some time, and I finally worked up the nerve to do it. And today we're going to be playing one of my favorite games as of late. I was a bit late jumping on the bandwagon for this. I mean, the game's a little bit old. I believe it's from 2011, and it's from one of the Humble Bundles. I have played it before, but it's still, oh, it's still a great game. It's called Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, and as I said, it's just, oh, it's a great game. Everything, visuals, music, it's fantastic. So I thought this would be a good choice as my first game to play. It's pretty short and it's not too computer intensive since I don't have a very good PC. Yeah, and I just, I love it. So hope you love it. Hope you enjoy this episode. We're just going to get right into it. From what I remember, I don't think they explain the story very much, but, yeah. Yay! Ladies and the gentlemen, how's about you tap these two little sylvan sprites so I can get a feel for your stereo sound system? Sure, I will absolutely do that. Our research indicates that social <laughs> social support networks will play a significant positive role in the outcome of S S N S E P. I think that's just if you want to share things on Twitter, which I don't. <laughs> the ability to broadcast your findings is an entirely optional component. It's intended to be used in moderation. Profoundly grateful that you have chosen to participate in this experimental treatment for acute soul sickness. You'll find this first EP session to be fairly straightforward. It'll typically require 15 to 30 minutes to complete, which is good. It's a good, it's a good size, good time for a Let's Play episode. Ready to begin. Press play and let's go. All right, let's go then. Yeah, as I thought, I don't think they explained very much. I want to say they did the first time I played it. I feel like there is more of like a prologue to it, but I don't really remember. But yeah, we're a girl in the world. I'm just a girl in the world. That's all that you'll let her be. Anyways. Yeah, we're a girl. We need to go on an errand. There's a dog. So, we're gonna follow this dog. Oh, we're going to talk. Hello. Who are you? Hey. Far from the war-ravaged steppes of Scythia, we met a dark-haired girl in a sunlit meadow. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, she was known as Girl. She seemed nice. Yeah, she does seem pretty nice. But... People don't talk very much in this game. What's this? In the meadow, there is an immovable iron gate. Blocking a cavernous cave. Oh, well, okay. I don't I'm guessing I can't go in there. So I'm gonna follow this dog again. <laughs> go back. No, don't, don't go. There's lots of like tapping, tap tapping on things, because this game was originally 
for iOS, I believe. It was like a mobile game. The controls could be a little bit strange on PC, but once you get used to them, they're all right. I mean, they're decent. They're decent enough. What is this? How do you... How do you zoom? Well, okay. Um, just go I'm gonna keep following this dog, I guess. Oh, hi. Hey there. Who are you? The wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. Okay. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. I have no idea. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, he was known as Logfella. He seemed pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, he, he's alright. Logfella knew all about our woeful errand. What woeful errand? See, they don't really... They don't explain. Oh, I feel like they should. Ah, uh, he agreed to lead us up the old road. That's very nice of him. How did he know about the errand, though? Is he psychic? Still, we definitely got the feeling he wasn't super jazzed about this. Well, I mean... Can you blame him? He's just trying to chop some wood. And then we come along. I love all the characters. I just, I always feel so... They're just little pixel people, but... I always felt connected to them. Which is kind of... I mean, it's, it's a hard thing to do if you're making a game, right? Like, some studios will spend millions of dollars creating super realistic characters and then you end up not caring about them or the story and then a game like this comes along it's it's so pretty but it's so simple can i get through the woodsman confirmed 100 percent that he had the only key to the locked door in the stone wall okay it was a really nice looking key okay we are totally ready to just tap and hold on the path ahead to move it, move it, move it. Where are we? Where are we really? Can we go in? No, we can. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. Let's, let's get out of here. Hey. Stop saying hey. <laughs> I love this music. Just everything about this game. It's A+. Plus. Like, it just, it all comes together into a lovely experience. Oh shoot, see? I just realized I was like zoomed in <laughs> pretty far. Whoops. Whoopsie whoopsie. What is this? Oh. Hello, what are... What are you doing here, creature? That doesn't look very good. <laughs> What's this? By the side of the old road, there was a stone carved with a pair of glyphs in the shape of a sword and a shield. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, yeah, alright. Come on, do I have to fight this guy? I'm gonna fight you. Can I? How do I? You hellhound. Yes, I want to fight you. Fight me. With my sword. My sword. My sword and my shield. One of the issues I had playing this before was that the combat was a bit wonky. Can I not hit him? <laughs> Sorry. That's sexist. I don't know that it's a him. Oh, sh shoot. See? I, I, I clicked on the shield. I swear I did. 
Yeah. Yeah. Am I not able to hit him? Boom. What do I do? I guess maybe I'm not supposed to hit him. And these guys, why didn't anyone help me either? They're just sitting back watching. I totally could have kicked that wolf's butt. It would have been like three against one. Dog against dog. It's dog eat dog world. But not in this world, I guess. <laughs> that was weird though. I'm assuming he's gonna be making another appearance at some point. I apologize if you can hear me clicking. I'll try my best to edit it out if possible. Do 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 Where are we actually going? What is this? This doesn't look very doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> Got some bad breath going on. <laughs> What's all that junk flying in his mouth? What is this? At the edge of the perilous precipice stood a stone carved with a glyph of a skyward sword. Ah, uh, Zelda <laughs> reference. <laughs> uh, beneath the colors of a rainbow. We Scythians loathe rainbows. Why, though? Rainbows are nice. They're really nice. What do I do, though? Do I just... Do I take my sword out? Uh... Ooh? Did that do anything? Oh, yes, yes, yes it did. Yes, yes, yes. Uh oh. Bleh. Bleh. What was that? No, seriously, what was that? Was he just cheering or did he did he do something? We had bridged the chasm, we felt soup smart. Yeah, I mean, I don't wanna brag or anything. Uh we told Logfella. He sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery, known as the Megatomb. The Megatomb, tome, Megatome, Megatomb, dome, dome, lurked somewhere in the haunted darkness beneath the perilous precipice, beneath the Mingi Ta. We resolved to go get the Megatomb and then get out alive. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's a pretty good plan to get out alive. You're not really gonna plan to get out dead, are you? Oh, <laughs> I guess he's done, then he's gonna go sit down. Well, let's get out of here, then. 